Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria, and happy 4th of July. I hope everyone's having an awesome, awesome day. I hope you had a lot of fun, you got in the water, and you had all the fun. I stood home and relaxed, and just, you know, enjoyed the relaxation, because, you know, sooner or later, like, you gotta get back to normal life, so I just wanted to relax, and plus, I'm not a person that... Plays with fireworks. I stay far, far, far away from there. But anyway, guys, today I'm making a card, and I made my own shape card, and I'm using the Cricut cartridge, uh, Suburbia and Siberia, and um, Creative cards, and the paper packs that I use today is this Merry Christmas Feliz, and this one is from My Mind's Eye. And here goes the two design papers. So I ended up using this polka dot one and then this chevron paper. So let's get started, guys. My card is going to be an A2 size card. So in the creative card, I end up finding a shape. Let me see if I can find I end up finding this shape. And what I did was I took the shape and I sized it a five and a half by four and a quarter, which is an A2 size card. And then I duplicated it. I made two of them. Then I joined them together. And I made this shape card, okay? Then I end up taking... Now, when you're doing this on the craft, Cricut Craft Room or the design space, uh, you definitely need to make, or on even on your... Uh, if you guys are still using the uh, Gypsy, you definitely need to make your shapes duplicate them. Because once you weld them together, it's it's gone if you don't have that shape. And if you need layers, how are you supposed to get it? You will have to undo everything. And that is just horrible. So there goes my shape card. So let's get started. For the inside of my card, I have my chevron piece of paper. So I'm just going to line it up in the middle. And I think that looks really good right there. And then... I have a black cardstock, my sentiment paper, and then my designer paper. And now I'm just going to adhere this right in the middle. And as you can see, I end up doing my layers. And if you guys want me to show you how to do that, depending on how many comments are left, I'll definitely upload a video showing you. Is that it's hard for me to show you on my iPad because whenever I, like, let me show you guys. Okay, whenever I'm putting the iPad in front of the camera, it turns dark, super dark, and it just don't look right, you see? Then if you get closer, it gets blurry. I don't know, I just don't want, and plus, it's hard for me to explain stuff, but I'm so glad you guys understand me. But anyway, there goes the inside of my card, and I already did my stamping, and I did the flower stamps, and that was from... Uh, the Scrappy Mom stamp set and that came from this uh, designer's choice and there goes the butterfly then I end up using this Inky Dicky Do stamp and this one is called Chain Reactions and I used this ring one and the heart so there goes the ring look at how awesome that is guys and then look at the heart and then for the sentiment who needs a man? All you need is wine, chocolate, and a copy of Fifty Shades, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. When I seen that sentiment, I had to find something to do with it. It was so awesome. So then there go, And that came from the Scrappy Mom stamp set. So, guys, if you haven't seen this stamp set right here, it's so stinking cute. I am so glad I got it. And this one is from... It's called Sassy Pants, and here it goes. Who needs a man when all you need is wine, chocolate, and 50 shades? It's a cute uh, set. So there goes the inside of my card, and you see the bottom of the pattern paper? Oh my god, I just love how it came out. So now let's start decorating the front of the card. Now for the front of the card, I have this white card stock. And then I have the pattern paper, so now I'm just going to adhere both of these together and I'm going to attach them to my card base okay so now I got my pad and paper and I'm going to adhere it to my white 
and I want to make sure that I'm gonna get even on all sides because you never want to un lopsided uneven card especially after you put so much time into it okay and then I'm gonna add some ATG And I'm going to add this to the front of my card. And I could have put three layers on the front too. But I just decided just two would be enough. But you can more than willingly guys put three layers. You know the more layers the prettier it is. Remember that. Then I end up using my medium cloud punch from Friskers. And I end up putting some clouds there. Then from Mrs. Kate's Cuttables as you guys know. The ones that have been with me. I love this corner sun. And I end up cutting out this corner sun. Uh, three quarters of an inch. Okay guys. Now all my pieces are kind of. Not tiny tiny. But they, they, they run on the small side. Okay. Okay, so I'm just putting some scotch, quick dry, and you could get this glue in Michael's, Joann's. You got to look and, and, and be careful because in Joann's, I think they got a small bottle for $6 and then Michael's got a medium bottle for $6 and change. Or I think it's vice versa. But I know one of them is you get a bigger bottle for the same amount of price. So definitely, if you're going to go out and... Check it out and buy it. Definitely make sure you get the bigger bottle for the same price because you need you will use a lot of glue. Okay, so there goes my son. So now what I end up doing also I did another shape like this, and what I did was I used the slice feature and I cut it in half. And I did two of them. And then I used my Bumpy Road uh, EK Success Border Punch. And I end up using this. So this is like my sand. And this is my sky. So now I'm going to attach this right here. And you see how it looks? It looks like the sand. And then I just ink the edges on this one just a little bit. So now I'm just going to add some ATG but I'm also gonna add some quick dry because this is glitter paper okay and I'm just gonna put some in the middle And then now I'm just going to adhere this right down here. And you see how cool it looks? And I already stamped the image. It says, hola chica. <laughs> um, hola chica. Who needs a man when all you need is wine, chocolate, and a copy of Fifty Shades? So, for that sentiment, I end up getting it out of the Scrappy Mom stamp set called Designer's Choice, and it's Hola Chica. Then I use this flower right here. And then for the beads, I end up using this one from the Chain Reaction. And I stamped it down there. So now, on the su Suburbia cartridge, I end up cutting out this lady and I cut her out at three inches guys so here she goes and I thought she came out adorable and I'm going to put her right here but I want to pop her up because when my husband's seen the car he said there's something missing baby 
it's just not it's just not there i says baby i am not done yet <laughs> i says give me a chance i haven't done it yet so i'm gonna pop this up And that's a Burberry cartridge, guys. If you don't have it, you definitely need to invest your money. It's very retro. I love the images on it. It makes it reminds me of, you know, the 50s. And they have images in there of all, all things. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the tape off of this. I think that looks good right there. Okay, and then I have in the same cartridge. So I cut the girl out. Then I end up cutting out her purse. Because every girl, especially on the beach, guys, you have to have your purse. And I cut out her purse at half an inch. So now I'm just going to add some glue to the back of this and I'm going to add it on this side. And then you see guys, oh, I'm loving it. Oh my God, it's so awesome. Then I end up cutting out a martini glass and I cut the martini glass out at half an inch and I cut it out of a pink glass and now I'm just going to attach it right next to her okay and then I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Then I also cut out the bottle. And the bottle's on page 57. And I cut the bottle out at one inch. And here goes the bottle. And then I'm going to put the bottle right here on the side. Okay. Right next to the bottle of wine. The glass of wine, I mean. Okay. Then I end up cutting out on page 75. I cut out this poodle and I cut the poodle out at one and a half. And here goes my poodle, guys. You see how cute she came out? I just love it. And then I'm going to add my poodle right here. And I'm just going to add her flat because I just want the lady to be popped up. Okay. And now I'm going to add my poodle. Right here. I think that looks good right there. And I just love how she came out. Am I missing anything else? Let me make sure. 
I think I'm not. It's the wine, the glass, the doggy, the sun. I got the clouds up. I got the stamp and I did the inside. So there you go, guys. There goes my card. It says, hola, chica. Who needs a man? All you need is wine, chocolate, and a copy of Fifty Shades. Oh, my God. I just love saying that. <laughs> So guys, here we go. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like, please thumbs up, letting YouTube know that you like my video and also letting other crafters know that you like my video also so they could come and see what I got to offer, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had an awesome 4th of July. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now. That scene card came out so cute. And there goes the inside. Bye now.